What's going on, my fro force? You're chilling with Pokemon Books, and we are back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. Last time, we managed to beat Amy, and I'm guessing she sent up some kind of signal flare or something, but now we gotta deal with a side quest with Eustace Profiteer and Holly White, which I'm okay with Holly. He said he had an interest in this place. This crumbling old shack? But why? Shack. Careful. <laughs> I suppose that is what it must look like. This is our home. Oh, uh, beg your pardon. Uh huh. I was born to a long line of fishermen. This house has belonged to our family for generations, as has the bounty of this bay. But when my son and his wife lost their lives in the war, Aww. I took their daughter and fled for safer shores. When I received word that the war had ended, my granddaughter and I hastened back here. We arrived just days ago, only to find... That strange little man going, he, 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 in the corner. Wait, days ago? We just got here. Does that mean he's been talking to them for yeah. days? And what did he have to say? Once he heard that the house belonged to us, he told us to sell it to him and leave. He wants you to abandon your home? What value could it hold for him? If you were to believe him, he claimed that it was for the good of the nation. Uh-huh. I don't believe for a second. By that miss in white. As the man spoke his piece, she flew into a frightful rage. She seized him by the lapels and shook him about like a limp fish, threatening him with some colorful language. In front of the kid? More talk about us leaving this place and more quarreling, my poor granddaughter crying. Honestly, my mind is a whirl from it all. Mm-hmm. I think I've got the picture. Now I know for sure that those two were causing you trouble. It looks like I'll have to find out for myself what they're up to. Wait here, Gramps. We'll be back. Ha. <sighs> Wait, what? Fox? Yeah! Let's see this cutscene. Hmm. You? What's up with the folded arms and furrowed brow? I have four potions here. The other day, I realized that an old one had become mixed up with the newer ones, so I put a sticker on it, but it came off. You got it. Nowhere to be found. So, what's the problem? Who cares if one is older than the others? Ugh, I do for one. Have you tried sniffing them? Yeah, but I can't tell any difference. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. But what if it made you sick? Like in the middle of a battle? Ah, good point, sir. Maybe we should just throw them all away. You can't do that! Didn't your parents teach you not to waste resources? Mine did. Like, all the time. Yes, I know, but... Whoa! Uh, Idia! Ah, mmm, that is sweet. All right, everyone. Follow my lead. One flask for each of you. Oh, so just one of us has to get um... sick. I have a feeling it's gonna be you. Come on, no complaints. One, two, three, down the hatch! Ooh, so bitter. Yep, you got it. Looks like poor you got the short straw. Here, let me give you a remedy. Mine's bitter too. Mine too. Like old leaves. Oh, Adia got the old one. That makes no sense. You must be tasting them wrong. Mm -mm -mm. See? Completely sweet. It's fruity on the tongue with a mellow aftertaste and a hint of... of uh. Yep. So much for not wasting resources. <laughs> well, better now than in battle, I guess. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Poor idea, but at the same time... <laughs> I 
Now, let's see. Where are we going to have to find those two? Oh, over in Eisenberg? What? Wait, Hearthchild, not Eisenberg. So, wait. If they're going to be there, then who am I going to have to... Wait, it, there's supposed to be no one there right now. Does that mean that there are people there now? Like, since I... Wait, will there be people here now since I did the side quest? What the hell? I guess I can't continue the side quest until I get the people back? That is weird. That's really weird. Alright. Well, so much for doing that. Let's go on to... Alright, let's go on to Yunohana. I hope I didn't miss a fox in that tunnel. I'm half tempted to go check, but you guys will tell me if I did. And then I can always just go back and uh, get it in another in a past save file. Not over here, but here? Yeah. This is new. This was not here before. You know how to land of the hot springs. Is he carrying her? I think he is. So, these oh, are the yep. springs of Yunohana. And the vast were quaint buildings. But what are these springs? And why are they hot? Hot Here springs. Yunohana, naturally heated water comes bubbling up to the surface from beneath the ground. The water's chock full of minerals said to have all sorts of healing properties. Oh, especially if it especially if it's uh from molten activity? like from an actual volcano, which is on this continent, then that means that the soil that's released into the water itself would be high, would be very high in minerals. People come from all over for a chance to soak in the springs and wash away their worries. Not only that, but the vegetables grown from that, that kind of soil. Man, I wonder it's healing. Yeah, it's definitely healing water. That's awesome. I'm sure there's some kind of magic mixed in, but still. People come to wash away worries and sweet ones? Now eat the sweet buns. Whatever. And don't forget the eggs. And eggs, too? This doesn't sound very relaxing. No, no, they're just popular hot spring snacks. People don't wash them, they... Right, they get wrapped up and sold in gift shops. A minute, let me get this straight. After you soak sweet buns and eggs, you're wrapped up and sold off? Oh my god, Magnolia. Enough chit-chat, everyone. We need to get Yoko to the baths. The bathhouse lies yonder. Let us make haste. Wait! I'm not letting anyone wrap me in a sweet bun. Ha! <laughs> All right, Magnolia. You get th that's your one goofy thing for the episode. Party chat. The land of Wa. Wah! I think Waluigi lives here. Land of Wah! Wow, it's so Wafu. What? What Wafu does that what does that mean? Um, I don't think know exactly. Ha! Huh. Then why'd you say it? Well, this place reminds me of Master Fen of Master's Fencing School. It does? Wow, your school must have been really i I'm gonna say excellent. I guess it was, though it wasn't quite as lively as here. It was right out of the past, like the legendary land of Wa, the island nation that they say disappeared so long ago. The old stone tiles on the roof, the banners under the eaves, I almost thought it was leaves, the paper lanterns, all of it was in the, that old style. That people came to call Wafu, excuse me, Wafu. I learned that katanas also originally hailed from the land of Wa. And I've heard that too. And the same goes for all kinds of food, like sweet buns, chestnut jellies, even ramen. Right, hey look, a dumpling shop. I wonder if they have red bean jam. Ah, I really wish I could bring Master here. He'd love it. I really wish I could bring Anya's here. but she'd love it too. There's a very big difference between those two statements. Hi, Kitty. Hey, Kitty, tell me tell me something. When you're afflicted with Berserk, your physical strength goes up, but your fury makes you unable to choose what kind of attacks you want to dish out. Oh. 
Yes, you lose all sense of reasoning, lashing out ceaselessly, ceaselessly with physical attacks. It doesn't really... It doesn't do to lose your temper. Hmm? Oh, alright. Uh, do I just walk past you two? I guess I do. Wait, there's supposed to be an item around here. Nah, I'm not gonna go that way. That probably leads out of town somehow. I don't know how, but I just bet it does. Oh! Uh... Evening, ladies. Huh, so Eternia's medicine doesn't even compare to the soaks? Wow. That is something else. Is this room with the royalty? Does that mean we get a free night? Welcome to the bathhouse of Yunohana. I am Sakura, your humble attendant. Pray make yourself comfortable and let our warm, gentle waters ease your mind and body. All right, this is where we split up. Magnolia and I will look after Yoko. Thank you. I am in your debt. And remember you, no peeking. Well, who said anything about peeking? If you so much as think about it, you're in for a knuckle sandwich. I don't think that uh, the quote-unquote Anisama would be very <laughs> help would be it. very uh forgiving about that either. Sheesh, what kind of person do you take me for? We know better than that, right, sir? I'll say, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. A certain oh, other person we know would. Fun. But you just said, woman's at best a contradiction still. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Tiz, you really shouldn't be trying to preach that. You don't know anything Come either. Now, we're just joking with you. But we should get Yoko to the baths. I do. And just so you know, I wasn't joking about that knuckle sandwich. I mean, it's not really a threat if we don't well, intend to act on here, it. What say we enjoy a bath as well? Great idea, sir. I've never soaked in a hot spring before. I shall join you. My road has been a long one. I wonder if the baths are free. Time for a bath. Finally, a chance to soak your cares away. To enter the men's bath, the party leader has to be go figure male. Change the lead character, just select tactics and... Oh, and then order. Alright. So wait, does that mean I get to choose female next time? You know what? I'll try a male one, and I'll also try a female one. I'm sure there'll be steam blocking things. There's no way in hell that Nintendo will allow that, but still. Uh, there's nothing like a nice hot bath. Dude, you best take off your hat. The steam is going to cloud up and you give you a that, lot of condensation. Indeed. All the aches and pains of my road-weary body just seem to melt away. But look at those packs! It's like you're chiseled from solid stone! No wonder you're such an incredible swordsman. I guess I need to bulk up if I'm ever going to be as strong as you. Don't worry, you're a mage, you. say that, Master Yu. For a swordsman, it's not about the quantity of muscle, but the quality. You both have a liveness, which should serve you well with a blade. Do you really think so? Still, I've always wanted to be big and manly like you and Tiz here. A hundred push-ups a day from now on, I'm gonna get ripped! I don't believe it when I see it. Are they peeking? Uh, what the fuck?! What are you doing here? We could not help but overhear your conversation. All this talk of muscles and the like piqued our interest. Did you hear that, sir? Danzabro? They want to see some muscles. I say we show them some. I don't know about that. I too find the idea a bit embarrassing. As long as you're wearing a towel, it should be fine. Well, you heard them. No show for you today. Murgurgur. Who even said we wanted one? <laughs> we just came to tell you that Yoko's feeling better, but I guess you don't care about that. Huh? But that's not what you... Oh, our minister is so cruel. Whatever is a princess to do? How did they flip that on you? Now look what you did. We're going back, and remember, no peeking, or else... 
Why can't... How come you can peek but we can't? That's just not fair. Well, uh, they can look but not us? It's not fair, I say! I just said that! That's what they mean by a contradiction still. Well, I won't be the one to disappoint our audience. Audience? Sir, if I may be so bold, I say this calls for action. You... Uh, you can't mean... All that talk about Knuckles sandwiches, it's just reverse psychology. They want us to peek. This calls for a coup de gravy if there ever was one. You've sure grown up awfully quick. <clears throat> uh huh. You master you that the group of ladies of whom you speak includes my dear sister. Yep. If you insist on peeking, you will face my blade. <laughs> I, I called it. I so called it. Uh, yes, expert advice, sir. I so called it. <laughs> <sighs> now that was refreshing. I'll say, but I think I stayed in a bit too long. I'm gonna go outside and cool off a bit. Don't wait up for me. Sure thing. We'll see you back in the room. He's gonna go peek, isn't he? <sighs> the breeze sure feels good. Oh, never mind. Fancy meeting you here, Minister. Yoko, is your wound all healed? Yes, and it is all because of you. You and your friends have our deepest gratitude. Ah, don't mention it. We're in your debt, too. If it weren't for you and Don Zabado, we'd still be stuck in Eisenberg. So why don't we just call it even? Thanks to you, we can finally get after the Skyhold. We are pleased. <laughs> Speaking of which, we would seek your counsel on a certain matter. You are the heir to a prominent House of Knights, are you not? I am. Why do you ask? Have you heard of a legendary blade known as the Sword of the Brave? Ooh. The Sword of the Brave? You know of it, then? Uh, no, no. Um, I mean, what about it? We seek this Sword of the Brave. We would gift it to our Onisama. As Crown Prince, Onisama should one day rule this land. Or he would, were it not for our father's challenge. If you would succeed me, bring me the sword of the brave. These were father's words. I really hope it's just not an asshole father trying to keep his but throne or whatever. Onisama is brave, wise, and a peerless warrior. We can think of none more worthy of leading a nation. And yet, in truth, he does not share our father's blood. Oh. That is the reason for which father would issue this impossible challenge. Anisama gave up any claim to succession and left to wander the realm. Well, I'm pretty sure well, that you'd still share your we father's blood then. We shall find this blade that Onisama might take his rightful place as Lord of Unohana. No! Trust me, Yoko. Forget about the Sword of the Brave. Why would you say that? The blade is cursed. It will bring you and your brother nothing but suffering. Oh, he does know about so, it. So, you know more about the sword than you let on, Minister Yu. I, uh, yes, I, um, read about it in history class. I have a feeling that it somehow runs in his family. And perhaps you also know where it might be found? Uh, sorry, I don't recall more than that. Is that so? Well then, we will just have to find it ourselves. Yes, where might it be? Sealed away in Starkfort, mayhap? Or sleeping beneath Mount Karka in Geyser Grotto? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Our minister's reaction tells us we guessed true. No! I, I really, truly don't know. I'm sorry, Yoko. We you just tell the truth. Pray forgive your princess. We did not mean to upset you. Good night, Minister Yu. <laughs> 
getting chilly. I should turn in before I catch cold. That was interesting. Morning, everyone. Morning. Did everyone sleep well? I would have, if not for idiot talking in her sleep all night. What are you talking about? I never talk in my sleep. You do constantly. Is that so? Then why did I hear all about the ice cream parlor with all-you-can-eat parfaits? I talk about that when I'm awake. And the uh -huh. story where you made the owner build you a house out of brownies? Uh, um... <laughs> All before swimming laps in your malted milkshake pool and then calling it a night on a bed of cinnamon mascarpone pancakes? Wow. <laughs> oh, you got me. Good morning, Tanzaburo. Master Yu, have you seen my sister? God damn it. Yo, I know what's going on. With you? When I awoke, she was nowhere to be found. Wherever could she have gone? Not Geyser Grotto. Uh, she couldn't have. Huh? But what would ever lead her there? We were talking last night, and, well, it just kind of came up. My sister? Alone in that treacherous place? Forgive me, friends. I must follow her at once. Please don't tell me he'll get the, his hands on the Sword of the Brave, and then we'll have to fight him. That would suck. Do you know where it is? At the foot of Mount Karka. Let's hurry. Lead the way, you. Whew. All right. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm running late on this episode, technically, for my new schedule. So, I guess it would be considered a normal length for you guys. But yeah, this is getting very interesting. And I will see you all next time. Bye.